Welcome back to Z Physics. What we're going to be talking about today is rearranging equations. This is a topic which is fundamental in the transition from GCSEs to A-level physics and it's one of the topics that we need to make sure that we have absolutely mastered uh, for our studies in A-level physics. So without any further ado, we have three examples here, three different rearranging problems and this will be a perfect opportunity for you guys to pause this video and do some rearranging. Okay, now let's start having a look at the first example. They kind of go easy, medium and a little bit harder. Now, um, if we were to look at the first example, we're going to notice that we have Ohm's law V is equal to IR and we need to rearrange this for R. The first rule in rearranging equations is that whatever we do to the right hand side of the equation, or one of the sides of the equation, we need to do this to the other side of this equation. Now, because I need to rearrange this for, for R, what I'll need to do is uh, essentially uh, cancel this I somehow. So what I'm going to do is divide both sides by I. Now this is going to give me IR on the right divided by I like so and um, I'm going to have V divided by I as well. So this means that I can cancel out the right hand side of um, uh, the eyes on the right hand side, like so. Let's use my red cancelling pen so that gets cancelled. What I'm left with is that R is equal to V over I. In our second example, what we need to do is uh, essentially um, cancel out the U on the uh, right hand side and then cancel out the A. So let's start off by cancelling out the U first of all. Now because this is equal to U plus AT, the only way we can remove this U is if we take away a U as so. So this is going to equal to U plus AT minus u. And because I have taken away a u from the right hand side, I need to do exactly the same on the left hand side. So I've got in fact I've got a um, uh, I'm taking away u on the right hand side, I'm also taking away a u on the left hand side. So I can cancel this out. So um, u and u, they're gonna cancel each other out and what I'm left with is that V minus U is equal to AT. Now as you get more and more confident you're going to start seeing those things instantly. For instance uh, just right over here I need to divide both sides by A in order to um, essentially cancel out the A's on this side and what I'll left with what I'll be left with is just T. So I'm dividing both sides by by a and uh, what I'm left with is the following expression that t is equal to v minus u divided by a. And for our final expression which is a little bit harder what we need to do is rearrange this expression which is actually Kepler's third law which gives us an equation relating the time period of a planet as it orbits at an orbital distance r and we do that in the second year of a level physics but let's just rearrange this for pi now you may be a little bit intimidated the first time you see this problem but it's very very important to remember that any complex looking maths problem is actually a series of very very simple steps that we'll need to be following so in this case, I'm not going to try and uh, instantly rearrange for pi. What I will do is, first of all, uh, just rearrange for 4 pi squared times r cubed. So I'm just going to try and get rid of this gm right at the bottom. So uh, let's try and cancel this out. The way we're going to do this is um, when we're re rearranging for uh, pi would be to just multiply both sides by gm. So I'm going to times this side by gm, and I'm also going to times the left hand side by gm as well. Notice how this is going to cancel out. So what I'm left with is that gm times t squared is equal to 4 pi squared t 
times uh, cubed. Okay, now the next step when I'm trying to rearrange for pi would be just to rearrange for pi squared. In order to do so, I'm going to need to divide this side by 4 r cubed and in order because I have divided the right hand side by this I'm going to need to divide the um, the left hand side by it by this as well so I'm going to divide this by 4 r cubed and notice that this is going to cancel with that and r cubed is going to cancel with r cubed so all I'm left with is that pi squared is equal to gm times t squared divided by 4 r cubed. Our next and final step would just be to take the square root of this and what I'm left with is that pi is equal to the square root of gm times t squared divided by 4r cubed. Okay folks, so hopefully this uh, this makes sense. If there are any questions about uh, rearranging those equations, please drop a comment. Uh, just a little disclaimer that most often you would skip writing out some of those steps, however, um, once you get more and more accustomed to it. However, in this video I wanted to go through the minute detail of why we are rearranging the way we are. Hopefully this makes sense and as I said, any questions I'll be more than happy to answer them and I'll see you guys in the next video.